avid royal watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, to publicly celebrate Archie Mountbatten wins his first birthday last Wednesday, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released an intimate video of a mom and baby reading a picture book to support the charity Save the Children. On the actual day, they had a small celebration at home in Los Angeles. Meghan made the cake, strawberries and cream, a source told the magazine, and Harry helped with decorations and blew up balloons. They zoomed with godparents, friends and family and had a really simple but incredible joyous day. They didn't have any guests over, but according to sources, the family's beagle guy, a black Labrador, were all, all friends they needed. Archie is best friends with his dogs, the insider said. They make him laugh and are gentle with him. Four days later, the family celebrated a socially distanced Mother's Day with Megan's mom, Daria Ragland. The pair is reportedly living in Tyler Perry's 12-bedroom bedroom mansion in Beverly Hills, where the Medea creator is working in Atlanta. Harry has been making TV appearances and filming videos for his charities, but Meghan has spent less time in the public eye. But according to friends who spoke with the Daily Mail, she has been talking about an upcoming book about her years on the royal family and her hopes that will change the public reception of her. She said the book will finally set the record straight and show the world why they were left with no other choice than to leave the royal life, a friend told the tabloid. She said the book will help give her and Harry a clean slate. Megan seems to think that readers will finally understand the monumental anguish and turmoil that she had to endure with a stiff upper lip. According to The Insider, she hopes the book will come out soon and that ultimately it will reveal more of the real story than has come out in the press. Megan said people need to see her vulnerable side, something the book does in great detail, the friend said. I think Megan wants people to feel sorry for her or at least have compassion for her and all she's been through, which has been anything but a fairy tale. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.